What is up guys? We are facing Venom Goblin on Expert Mode with Captain Marvel. So we already have the three main scenes set up here. One threat on Lower Manhattan and two on Midtown Manhattan. And let's shuffle up the encounter deck. Venom Goblin has a uh, one repute effect. Do two face down encounter cards to each player. So we will get two face down encounter cards to start the game off. And the Venom Goblin will also have a tough status card. Let's shuffle up the player deck. And then draw up to our hand size of five. Or hand size of six, I mean. Okay. And then let's see what we get. Okay, we got some good double resources. Um, I think we definitely want the Quinn carrier. Uh, let's keep, let's see, do we need Kalu right now? Let's keep Kalu too and let's mulligan two cards and discard them. And drawing two more for a mulligan. Okay, uh, let's use Carol Danvers as an action right here. Commander, action, choose a player and draw one card. So we draw a card. Ooh, and we got White Tiger here. Okay, let's see. I don't think we need Mate to Call right now. Um, okay, let's go ahead and flip over first to Captain Marvel. We will use this as three resources, so we can play Quinn Carrier. We can only play this if we have the Avengers trait. We do have that as Captain Marvel. Let's uh, let's use the Quinn Carrier to generate a resource. This would be two more resources, so we can play White Tiger. After you play White Tiger from here, and draw X cards, uh, where X equal to the villain stage number. So stage number two. So we're drawing two cards. Okay, and then. I think we want to get Kalu in the Alpha Flight Station, actually. Um, okay, let's use this as two resources so we can play Kalu. After Kalu enters play, search the top five cards of your deck for an event and add that event to your hand. So we're going to top five cards. Ooh, and we would have got the Clarity of Purpose next. Okay, let's add the uh, All for One event to our hand and then shuffle these four cards back into the account or the player deck, I mean. Right, and then let's use the offer one as a resource to play our Alpha Flight Station. This is a support, it's an action. We can uh, exhaust this card and then choose this card one card from hand and draw one card. Okay, so let's see here. Um, hmm. Okay, let's have Captain Marvel Thor for two from Midtown Manhattan. We'll clear that off. Let's have, uh, let's have White Tiger Thor from Lower Manhattan to clear that off. Should take consequential damage and Kalu will swing and hit Venom Goblin to ping off tough and Kalu will take a consequential damage. That'll end our turn. Let's ready back up and then draw back up to our hand size of five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so it is Venom Goblin's turn. He's going to add one threat to each one of the three main schemes. Oops. Up and everything. And then uh, let's actually put Captain Marvel over here. Okay, so he is going to uh, attack us now. Let's have Kalu block his attack. So Venom Goblin's hitting with the base of three. He gets a boost card here. Of uh, the boost effect is you are stunned. If you're already stunned, take two damage. So we just get stunned here. And then uh, so he's hitting for three. Doubt that would defeat Kalu. And the Venom Goblin has a uh, forced response. After he activates against you, move the glider count to the main scheme with the least threat and resolve a special. So right now it's on uh, Midtown Manhattan. We can choose which one. These are equal. So let's put it on Lower Manhattan here. The special is to place one threat on each scheme. So each scheme goes up by one. All right. And then Venom Goblin will deal us one face down encounter card, and we have three here. First one is Symbiotic Thrall. Guard, when a symbiote environment is in play, he has Patrol. Uh, caught off guard, discard, upgrade, or support your control. Let's discard our awful fight station here. And then concussive bombs. This will have uh, two bomb counters. After uh, the villain attacks you, remove one bomb counter and exhaust one upgrade and one support your control. Okay. That's not going to be great. Okay, so it is uh, back to our turn here. Let's see. Um, I want to... 
Hmm. Spend a resource like Hawkeye. Uh, but we can't heal. Okay, so I think we need to... Let's definitely get Maria Hill down. Uh, okay, let's use the Quinn character to generate or should we get down the mansion here? Because the Cot of Guard is gone. If we get that... Ah, okay, let's get Maria Hill down first. So let's use uh, the Quinn character to generate a resource. This would be a second resource, so we can play Maria Hill. After Maria Hill uh, enters play, each player gets to draw a card. So we're drawing a card here. We got you into rapid response. Um, let's check our discard pile here. Do we have anything that we want? We could get a clue with the make the call. Um, or we could just play Hawkeye as well. Let's see, reduce the cost of play Captain America for the one for each Avenger that we have. So we have two. Ooh, he's still super expensive. I think the play here is just to get Hawkeye down. Um, okay, let's use... Yeah, because Avengers Mansion... Ah, okay, we're gonna get the Quinker exhaust though. Okay, that's fine. Let's use this as three resources so we can play Hawkeye. And then let's see here. We want to get rid of the Symbiotic Thrall, or do we actually want to take an attack so we can use Reach Channel? I think we want to leave him around for a little bit and then just focus on thwarting right now. So, which scheme do we want to thwart from? Um, okay, let's have Captain Marvel attack to remove our stun. We can do that first. Marie who will Thor for two from lower Manhattan. I'll clear that off and she will take a consequential damage. Oh, Hawkeye, I forgot. He comes in with a four arrow counters. And when a minion enters play, we can remove an arrow counter and do two damage to that minion. Okay. Um, I think we want to keep the scheme here and keep everyone else alive i think yeah let's do that so that will end our turn let's just ready back up and draw back up to your hands as a five Ooh, okay we have a bunch of resources but we can't really do anything with these cards um okay so it is a uh, venom goblin's turn he's going to add one to each one of the main schemes so these two go up to three this one goes up to one Okay, he is going to attack us now. Let's have Maria Hill defend this attack. He's in with the base three plus one is four plus a boost card here, or two more. Uh, so it's gonna be six damage that will defeat Maria Hill. After Venom Goblin activates, he activates a uh, Claim the Throne. So we move this to the scheme of the least threat. It stays on lower Manhattan because it has the least threat, especially as it plays one threat on each scheme. So I'll go up by one more. The Symbiote Thrall is gonna hit us for two. Let's take it. So we drop from 12 down to 10. And then, oh, I forgot. After Venom Goblin attacks, he also activates the Concussive Bomb, remove a bomb counter, and exhaust one support and one upgrade. We only have a support here. Um, so that should happen before this guy attacks. He still attacks, we still take it. And we get one face down and counter card, which is a Symbiotic Berserker. While Symbiote Environment is in play, he gains Quick Strike. There is no Symbiote Environment, so no Quick Strike. When he enters play, we can use Hawkeye. When a minion enters play, remove an arrow counter from Hawkeye and do two damage to that minion. So we hit for two. Okay. And then it is uh, back to our turn here. Okay, so. And we definitely just want to get Aerial so we can play Crisis Intervention. Not the most efficient use. We could also play All for One here. Um, we could also use Rechannel to see if we can get something better. Let's see. I think um, if we get Aerial. Okay, if we play All for One. We do three damage to an enemy. We can finish off the symbiotic thrall as well. And then we can play this card. Um, okay, that means that we're going to be left with this. Okay, so let's use rechannel. Action, spend a, a uh, energy resource. Heal one damage from Captain Marvel, so we go up to 11. And we can draw one card. Okay, we got a photonic blast. Okay, so this works better with this. Um, and then we can draw a card. Uh, okay, let's do that. So let's use this as three resources. So we can play a photonic blast. Hero action attack, do five damage to the enemy. So let's hit this guy for five. That will defeat him. 
If you pay for this uh, using a uh, energy resource, which we did, we can draw a card. Ooh, we got an energy reach channel. It's great right here. Uh, I think we want to just get rid of the symbiotic berserker as well. Okay, so we can play our energy channel here. Max one per player. Spend X energy resources and put X uh, energy counters here. Your action, we can discard the energy channel and do two damage to an enemy, uh, up to a maximum of ten for each energy counter on here. And let's use this as a double resource when paying for a blue card, so we can play it all for one. Your action, do three damage uh, to an enemy and exhaust any number of Avengers characters you control. Do one additional damage for each Avengers uh, character exhausted. We're not going to exhaust any Avengers characters, so just three damage to the symbiotic berserker. That'll defeat him. And then, um, let's see here, we want to thwart again. Uh, it's going to getting a little bit crazy. I think we're okay taking indirect damage right now. So, let's have Captain Marvel Thor for two from Midtown Manhattan. And Hawkeye will Thor for one from Upper Manhattan. And he'll take a consequential damage. That will end our turn. Um, actually, let's see. should we put this Cosmic Flight into the energy channel. Um, when we can take damage. Okay, let's do it. So we're gonna use this as an energy resource. We can put it in the energy channel and then put a counter on here. Okay, without end our turn, let's ready back up and then draw back up to our hand size of five. And we're looking for our uh, clarity of purpose. There it is. And we got a mighty Avengers as well. Okay, so it is uh, Venom Goblin's turn. He is going to place one threat on each scheme. So this one goes up to four. And these guys both go up to three. Okay. And then uh, let's see. So Venom Goblin is going to attack us. Let's have White Tiger Defense attack. Same with the base of four plus a boost card here. Of two more for a total of uh, six damage. That would defeat White Tiger. After he activates, he uses a Claim the Throne. So he's going to move this to scheme the least threat. It goes on to mid time hand. Especially as it takes two indirect damage, let's take it, dropping from 11 down to 9. And then after he attacks, remove a bomb count from here, exhaust one upgrade and one support you control. These are uh, the upgrade and support. Okay, so we're exhausting both these. Okay, and then we get one face down encounter card, which is smoke bombs, two bomb counters. And then after he attacks, you remove one bomb from here and discard one event from your hand with the lowest cost. Okay, so I think we want to flip over here. Um, but let's see first. Uh, the energy channel is going to be great. But I want to pay for it in a more efficient way. Um, I think we just got to use the power of leadership. Okay, so let's use this as a resource to play Clarity of Purpose. This card has Captain Marvel on the cover. So attach to a friendly character, max one per character. Hero resource, we can exhaust this card and do one damage to attached character and generate a, uh, wild, a wild resource. Um, oh, we had to use that right away, huh? We use that to play the Mighty Avengers. Okay, so we're going to use Reach Hand right here. Action, spend a, an energy resource. So we're going to use this, which is an energy resource, because uh, it's a wild. So we take one damage to get that resource. And then uh, her effect is we can heal one damage, so we go back up to nine again. And we can draw a card here. Okay, we got Captain Marvel's helmet. So we could just play both of these cards. One defense uh, doesn't really help though. Um, hmm. Okay, let's use this as a triple resource so we can play Mighty Avengers. Uh, play under any player's control, max one team card per player. If each of your Avengers has the, if each of your characters have the Avengers trait, we do. Each ally you control gets plus one Thor and plus one attack. So Hawkeye's two Thor and two attack now. And then let's see. Hand is not that great. Okay, so I think we want to just thwart and then flip down right here. What do we want to thwart from? Um, this would be the main scheme. So I'm, I'm okay with it going here. So Hawkeye's going to thwart for two. That will bring this down to one. He'll take consequential damage. Captain Marvel will thwart for two from Midtown Manhattan. That will bring this actually uh, let's thwart for two from Upper Manhattan here. Okay, and then let's flip over to Carol Danvers and use her action to draw a card. We got into another energy channel. Okay, uh, we can only play one, so that doesn't do anything for us right now. Let's use this as a double resource so we can play 
Captain Marvel's helmet here. So we get plus one uh, defense and plus two if we have the aerial trait. Uh, that will end our turn. Yeah, so let's, let's ready back up. And then let's draw back up to our hand size. I think we'll discard the energy channel here because we already have one and we have max one per player. So drawing back up to our hand size of six. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then it is uh, Venom Goblin's turn. He's going to add one threat to each one of his games. This one goes up to two. This one goes up to four. This one goes up to three. He's going to scheme on the active main schemes right here with the base of two plus a boost card here. Uh, resolve the special ability of the scheme with the glider counter. So we resolve this. Let's take 200 damage. So we draw him from nine down to seven. And then uh, he's still scheming for two. So this goes up to six here. And then, uh, let's see, and then after he schemes, he moves his scheme to the least threat, this one. The special is placed one threat on each scheme. So one of these guys, and this one goes up to three. And then this does not activate, because only after he attacks. So we get one phase on encounter card, which is a symbiotic thrall. He has guard. Uh, let's use Hawkeye's ability. So uh, we remove a arrow counter when a, when, when a minion enters play and do two damage to that minion. Hawkeye is putting in work this game. Okay, and it's back to our turn. Let's see, we will deck out here. I do want to manage what we deck out with. Let's use Commander so we can draw a card first. We got one more card left in the deck. And then, let's see. I think we want to recover. So let's exhaust to recover by four. So we're going from seven back up to 11. And now let's go ahead and flip over here. Ah. Dash yet. Let's flip over to Captain Marvel. We don't have any Arch Ego actions. Let's see. I think what is our goal this turn? Um, we want to. Ooh, we had an ally. That would be great. Or made the call. Let's check our discard pile. Do we have all of our uh, allies gone? I actually don't know how many allies I put in the deck. That's one make the call, that's two. Okay, I think we only have two make the calls. We have White Tiger, Maria Hill, Kalu, Spider Woman, Captain America. That might be all of our allies. Um, okay. Let's see, if Hawkeye attacks and they're all Hawkeye's done. So we don't want to do that yet. Um, we could play a Photonic Blast. Let's see, right now we have Aerial. So I think we definitely want to save this. And I think I'm okay not getting these cards back to our hand, actually. So I'm okay decking out right now. So let's use rechannel, spend an energy resource. So we're going to use the clarity purpose, exhaust this card, do one damage to attach characters, you generate a wild resource. We're going to use that to generate a mental resource. So we take one damage. We use that uh, energy resource to heal one. So we go back up to 11 again, and we can draw a card. So we decked out with Juice Girl Girl, so we get a face down encounter card. Okay, nice. So we did get an ally, and then shuffle up. The, uh, player deck here okay so I think we definitely want to get squirrel girl down okay let's see here um what is the cards that we don't need the most we don't need two Christ interdictions I think okay let's use Oh, we could play an Avengers Tower first. Okay, let's use this as two resources so we can play Avengers Tower. If each of your allies has the Avengers trait, increase your ally limit by one. We can exhaust this to reduce the cost of the next Avenger ally played this phase by one. So let's exhaust it. So now Squirrel Girl is just one cost. We'll use the, um, I think we'll use, let's use a Quinn Care as a, actually, uh, let me see. If we do this, we play Squirrel Girl. We can still play Christ Intervention. Yeah, okay, okay. So let's use the Rapid, res uh, rapid Response as a resource to play Squirrel Girl. So we only, uh, okay, and then when she enters play, do one damage to each enemy. Venom Goblin takes one damage, dropping down 17, and then one damage to Symbiotic Thrall. Squirrel Girl has plus one attack because of the Mighty Avengers. It doesn't matter. She's going to swing for two and defeat the Symbiotic Thrall. She'll take a consequence of damage. And then, let's see here. 
can play one more thing down. I think I want to play the Crisis Intervention. Uh, yeah, okay. Let's play, so let's exhaust the Quinn character to generate a resource. This would be a second resource, so we can play Crisis Intervention. So this is a hero action for, oh, wait, wait, wait. We don't have the aerial trait. Okay, never mind. I thought we had the aerial trait from, uh, I guess, the helmet right here. But this is only if we have, how do we get the aerial trait? Oh, we need the cosmic flight. Okay, never mind. So we're not going to play Crisis Intervention. Um, instead, let's use the Quinn Care as a resource so we can play Endurance. Let's increase our max hit points by three. So we go up to 14 here. Our max is 15. Okay, I got to remember that we don't have aerial. Okay, um, in that case, let's use, um, let's just put the Crisis Intervention into our energy channel here because it's an energy resource. So we get another counter on here. Okay, and then that will end our turn. Let's ready back up. Uh, should we keep the Photonic Blast? We keep on getting resources without cards to uh, pay for it and strong cards without resources. Um, you know what? Let's discard the Photonic Blast. We're going to draw back up to our hands as a five. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, this is not bad. So uh, Venom Goblin's turn, he's going to add one threat to each one of the schemes here. So this goes up to five, this goes up to four, and then this one goes up to, let's see, uh, it's going to go up to eight. Okay, so we really need to control the threat. I should have played the aerial card. Okay, so Venom Goblin's going to attack us here. Uh, let's have Squirrel Girl block his attack. He's hitting with a base of three plus one is four, plus a boost card here of one. So he's going to, he's going to do five damage. That will defeat Squirrel Girl. After he activates, uh, first let's use this smoke bomb. So we remove a bomb counter and discard one event from your hand with the lowest cost. So we're discarding make the call here. Okay, and then he'll activate claim throne. So it's going to stay on here, place one third on each scheme. Okay, now it's really getting out of control. We get a face on counter card for a total of two. First one, assault the villain attacks you. Um, I think. We would like to use Captain Marvel's Thwart. But I kind of want to just defend. No, let's just take this attack to the face. So it's hitting with a base of four, plus a boost card here of two more. So it's going to be six damage. That'll bring us from 14 down to eight. And then he'll activate Clam Throne. So it stays on here. Add one threat on each scheme again. So this one's already up to 10. This one's at seven. This one's at six. I was in counter card, gang up the villain in each minion against you to attack, so he's going to attack again. Um, oh, this is not good. We're going to have Hawkeye block this one. He's in with a base of four, plus a boost card of one. It's going to be uh, five damage. That would defeat. Oh, after the first attack, he activates smoke bombs, move a bomb counter, and then we discard any event from here with the lowest cost. Uh, it's going to be this four cost Avengers as Assemble. Okay, and then he'll defeat Hawkeye here. And after he attacks, he's going to activate Claim Throne again. It stays on here because it has the least threat. And then place one threat on each scheme. So the threat is getting out of control. All right, and this is at uh, 11. So one more, and then this will pop. This one's at 8. This one's at uh, 7. Okay. So it's back to our turn. The good thing is we have a white tiger here. Um, okay, first let's use Rechannel. We're going to... Exhaust the clarity of purpose to generate that resource. Our hit point stays the same, and we draw a card. Okay, we got an energy absorption. Um, okay, let's use Avengers Tower. We can exhaust the uh, cost of next Avenger that we play by one. White Tiger is now two costs, so this is a double resource when paying for a leadership card. So we can play her. We can draw two cards because Venom Gone's on stage two. So one, two. Okay, um, we want to just keep drawing. So let's use this as a triple resource to play a Photonic Blast. Do five damage to an enemy, so we hit Venom Gone for five. That brings him 17 down to 12. And we can draw a card because we use an energy resource to pay for it. That Avengers Mansion, which I think I do want to use more than the energy channel. So let's exhaust the Quinn Carrier to generate a resource. This would be three more, so we can play Avengers Mansion. Let's exhaust this so we can draw another card. And then we got our full draw engine set up here. Uh, we can't do anything with this right now. Okay, let's have, so White Tiger has plus one Thor, plus one attack, because all of our characters have the Avengers trait. So she can Thor for three. We gotta take that off of Midtown Manhattan here. Should take consequential damage. 
Okay, so this is at eight, this is at seven. Let's clean this up a little bit so we can see what's going on. Okay, so Captain Marvel is gonna Thor for two from Upper Manhattan. I think we're gonna be taking discards now because our we have so much economy on the board now. Okay, and then let's use make. Actually, let's check our discard pile. Do we need say make the call? No, I, I think we're okay. We saw Maria Hill left the deck, so let's use this as a resource to play our Alpha Flight Station here as well. Okay, so we're fully set up, I think. Uh, that will end our turn. Let's ready back up. And then draw back up to our hand size here of uh, five. One, two, three, five. Okay, I think we're looking really good here. Um, and Ooh, this is not the most efficient card. We need to get the arrow trait. I need to play that card down first. Okay, so Venom Goblin's turn. He's going to add uh, one to each one of the three schemes. So let's see. Uh, this one is going to go up to eight. Let me put these like that. Okay, so eight, nine, and seven. Okay, he's going to attack us. Let's have, we need to have White Tiger block. He's hitting with a base of uh, three plus a boost card here. Put the enraged into, into play engage with you as a boost effect. White Tiger is defeated. He'll activate Claim Throne. He'll go on to this one because this has the least threat. Discard one card from your hand. Uh, we are going to discard. Let's get rid of the energy channel here. And then this guy's going to hit us for two. So we're dropping from eight down to six. And we'll get one face down encounter card, which is limitless supply. Each tech attachment gains surge. Okay, so we have more threat to handle now. Okay, so it's back to our turn. Let's first use Avengers Mansion so we can draw a card. Let's then use a uh, rechannel and we're going to use Clarity of Purpose to provide that resource. So we heal and then we take it away. So then, uh, but then we can draw a card with this. Uh, so we got Captain America. We have so much resource that we could just pay for him. Let's see. I think before we get, let me see, this effect is only if. Each of the Avengers has an Avengers trait. So we want Captain America to do an action before we play Maria Hill down. But Maria Hill lets us draw. Um, so Captain America's cost. Okay, so Captain America has toughness. Reduce the cost to play Captain America by one for each Avenger character you control. We have one Avengers character here. So he's, he's now a five cost. We use Avengers Tower to reduce his cost by one. So it's four cost. This is four resources so we can play Captain America. And then he'll come in with toughness here. Okay, and then let's see. We're gonna have Captain Marvel swing for two. That would defeat the Enraged Symbiote. Captain America has plus one attack and plus one thwart with the Mighty Avengers here. So let's thwart for three from Limitless Supply here. And he'll take Console Damage, which will remove the Tough Stats card. And then let's see. We can. Play Maria Hill now. Um, okay, let's exhaust the Queen character to generate a resource. This would be a second resource, so we can play Maria Hill. After Maria Hill enters play, draw a card. Okay, Maria, Maria Hill is going to Thor for two from Limitless Supply. That'll take that off. Should take consequential damage. Okay, and the threat is still looking pretty crazy. We weren't able to do anything with that because we had a side scheme here. Um, we could just put this in an energy channel right now because we can't generate any more resources. Um, I think I want to keep Spider Woman. Uh, oh, this is a good card too right now, but it's just not efficient. Okay, let's use the cross uh, inter uh, diction as an energy resource to put into the, into the energy channel. So we have three counters on here. Now in our turn, let's keep Spy Room in our hand here. So we need uh, allies right now to help us thwart. So in our turn, we're drawing back up to our hand size of five. Okay, so it is uh, Venom Goblin's turn. He's gonna add one to each one of the three main schemes. So this is at eight, this is at nine, this is at uh, 10. Okay, yikes. Okay, so he's going to attack us. Maria Hill is gonna block. He's same with a base of three plus a boost card here. Put the enraged symbiote, enraged symbiote into play engage with you as a boost effect. So Maria Hill is defeated. Uh, he activates Claim the Throne. It stays on here. So 
So just card, card from your hand. Let's just card the uh, all for one here. And then this guy's gonna hit us for two, we drop down to four. Then we get a face on encounter card, which is another side scheme, okay. While there are no other symbiote environments in play, this card is considered a symbiote environment with five threat. So we have to ignore this one right now because we need to throw it from the main scheme. Um, and we need to kill the enraged symbiote. Let's see. Uh, okay, let's use Avengers Mansion first so we can draw a card. Okay, we finally got the aerial card. Uh, I'm not sure we're going to play it right now. Let's use Rechannel and reuse Clarity of Purpose to generate that resource. HP stays the same. We draw another card. Okay. Um, let's see, Spider Woman's definitely the play here. Let's see. HP is getting low as well. We need to get rid of the enraged symbiote. We can do that with this. And then we need to play Spider Woman. We don't need more attacks. So use the mesh to play for like this. And we'll have a card left over. Um, yeah, I think we need everyone else to do thwarting. Um, hmm. I would love to. We could use an energy channel to blow up the enraged symbiote just to do more thwarting, which I'm kind of it's kind of a waste, but if that gives us more resources here. Let's see, then we could play Spider Woman like this and get down cosmic bite. <sighs> no, okay, okay, okay. Let's use this as a double resource so we can play all for one, three damage to the enemy to defeat the enraged symbiote. Okay, we're gonna leave Festering Mask for right now. Um, I think. So let's use Avenger Tower to reduce the cost of this Avenger by one. This is two resources to play Spider Woman. Whenever she enters play, we can confuse uh, the villain. So he gets confused. He has steady, so he's not actually confused. Um, but one more, and he will be fully confused. And then, uh, okay, let's see here. We want, so each character, each uh, ally you control has plus one thorn, plus one attack. So these guys all have three. Thwart. So we thwart. Okay, we clear this off. Is that being too greedy? This goes up to nine. This one goes up. Uh, let's see, this is at eight. This one's at nine. And this one is at ten. Wait, are there, I think they're all two away, right? Okay, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, yeah, so they're all two away from flipping. I think we want to take the risk. Okay, let's take the risk. We're going to use. Captain America and Spider Woman, to, or Captain Marvel and Captain America to thwart. Captain America has three, she has two, so it's gonna be five to clear off this side scheme here. I don't like having a single environment. Captain America takes a consequential damage. Spider Woman's gonna thwart for three. We're gonna take it off of Upper Manhattan here. Okay, and she'll take a consequential damage. Let's use our Quinker to generate a resource, so an energy resource to put into the energy channel here. And then that will end our turn. So let's ready back up. We are so close to stabilizing, but we keep getting the symbiotic thrall as a uh, encounter. We're going to keep the cosmic flight, I think. Yeah, we're going to keep this in our hand because we need aerial. So we're going to draw back up their hand size. We decked out so we get a face on encounter card. Let's shuffle up the player deck here. Okay, we want to just get aerial. And then see what we can do with that. Okay, drawing two more cards. Okay, we've got some good resources here as well. So it is uh, Venom Goblin's turn. He's going to add one to each one of the three schemes. So this goes up to six, this goes up to 10, this one goes up to 11. So we are playing with fire here. He's going to attack us. Spider Woman defends. Boost of three plus zero. That will defeat Spider Woman. And then he'll activate Claim the Throne. So special here is this card, one card from your hand. So let's discard, uh, oof. I think we're getting rid of, we gotta get rid of Kalu, I think. Ah, oh, I wanna keep Kalu because we're getting rid of the Cosmic Flight and losing Aerial again. Um, you know what, forget about Aerial. We're gonna rely on allies more than the Christ Intervention here. Okay, so we did that. We get a face on Encounter card for total two. First one is we are, we are one, okay, so he gets plus three scheme, plus three attack, which is not great. And then Symbiotic Thrall, this guy's guard, when Symbiote environment is in play, he has patrol. Okay, so no Symbiote environment, okay. 
All right, I think that's okay for right now. We can play both these allies here. Let's use Avengers Mansion so we can draw a card. Okay, let's use Rechannel, exhaust this, hit point stays the same, we draw a card. Okay, let's use Avengers Tower to exhaust the, uh, re to reduce the resource cost of the next Avenger we play by one, so this is now two costs. So we're gonna use this as a double to play White Tiger. We can draw two cards now because Venom is on stage two with White Tiger's effect. So we've got this uh, crisis interdiction thing. Um, let's see. We need to defeat the Synodic Thrall. We could play a Photon Blast and blow this guy up. And then... Hmm. Okay, let's use the Quinn Carrier to generate a resource. This would be two more for a total of three, so we can play a Photonic Blast. Do five damage to an enemy. We're going to defeat this guy. Since we pay for it with energy resource, we can draw a card again. Got another Photonic Blast. Okay, uh, let's see here. So we want to play Kalu. So let's use this as a double resource so we can play Kalu. When he enters play, search the top five cards of your deck for an event and add to your hand. Let's see. Do we have the resources to play Avengers Assemble? No, we don't. We don't. Okay, so that means we're going to get, we have to get and make the call to our hand here. Um, actually, let's check our discard real quick. Do we have any allies? Oh, we have Spider Woman. She can. Okay, yeah. So we're going to get and make the call. We can shuffle these cards back into the player deck here. Okay, that will actually work out really well. And then we can flip down as well. So next we're going to play Make the Call. So this would be three resources. We can uh, pay the printed cost of an ally in any player's discard pile and put the ally into play. So we're going to get Spider Woman. Our ally limit is four because everyone is an Avenger with the effect of Avengers Tower here. When Spider Woman enters play, confuse the villain. So he gets a second confused card. Since he's steady, he is now officially fully confused with two confuses there. And then since we're all Avengers, we get plus one Thor and plus one attack to each ally here. So these guys, okay, this is going to be our big thwarting turn here to stabilize. Um, okay, let's see here. Do we want, okay, let's just have the allies thwart first. So Captain America is going to thwart for three from here first. He will take a consequential damage. Okay. White Tiger is going to thwart for three. Let's take it uh, also, for, actually, this is at eight. Let's take it from, um, let's take it from here. And she'll take a consequential damage. And then, um, let's see. Let's have Spider Woman Thor for three uh, from here. So range from six down to three. She'll take consequential damage. And then Kalu can Thor for two. So we're going to Thor for two from. Let's Thor for Midtown Manhattan here. And then she'll take a consequential damage. Okay, cool. And then we're going to recover. So let's flip over to Carol Dan Danvers and then exhaust uh, to recover by four. So we're going from four back up to eight. And then let's use uh, Commander to draw a card. And that will end our turn. Let's discard, I think, actually, before we end our turn, let's use Alpha Flight Station. So exhaust this card, discard one card from your hand, and then draw two cards if we're in Alter Eagle. So we can draw two cards here. Okay, and we want to keep these in our hand. Okay, so that will end our turn. Let's ready back up. Should be ready to already. Okay, and then drawing back up to our hand size of six here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and then we're good to go now. So it is a Venom Goblin's turn. It's gonna add one threat to each one of the three schemes. Okay, he is going to scheme, but he is fully confused here. So we discard these two, and he doesn't activate. So nothing happens with Claim the Throne. We get a face down encounter card, which is his advanced glider. Okay, so. After the attached villain activates against you, he'll activate again. Um, this once per round per player, discard any number of attack cards from your hand with the combined resource cost of three or more to discard his cards. Luckily, we do have a photon blast here. That's a hero action, so we gotta flip over and do that first. Okay, first let's recover by four again. So we're going from eight up to twelve. And then let's use Commander to draw a card. Let's use Avengers Mansion to draw another card. Okay. 
And then I think we want to use our flight station here. Let's use the Alpha Flight Station. Exhaust this discard card from your hand. Draw two cards if we're Carol Danvers. We got the turbo draw in here. Okay, this is looking pretty good. Let's flip over now to Captain Marvel. Okay, let's see. First, let's use, let's use this hero action. Discard any number of attack cards from your hand with a combined resource cost of three or more. This is three for the photonic blast, so we can discard the advanced glider. Okay, we could also get rid of the We Are One. Um, actually, no, we have to spend printed resources, and we don't have any uh, physical resources because we use that for the photonic blast. That's okay. Um, let's see here. So we want to play Maria Hill. Actually, we don't want to because she's an Avenger, and we're so good on allies right now that we don't need to do that. Um, okay, let's use this as a double resource when paying for a blue card. So we can play a rapid response here. Whenever an ally uh, I control is defeated, we can discard this card and put the ally into play uh, and put one damage to, on it. Okay, so we still have... Uh, okay, let's use rechannel here. Um, and we're actually not going to use the clarity of purpose. Let's use the Quinn character generate resource for it. So we can actually heal one. So we can go from 12 up to 13. And we can draw a card. Because this will generate a mental resource for the rechannel. Okay. Got. Okay, we can actually do the Thorian thing that we want to do. But then we also want to get an ally down. Um, okay, let's see. First, we want to use these guys. So I'm going to have Captain America for. And since we're all Avengers, we all get plus one to Thor and attack. So he's going to Thor for three. Let's take it off lower Manhattan here. We'll take a consequential damage. Now let's put three damage down for him. Okay. White Tiger is going to Thor for three as well from upper Manhattan. She'll take consequential damage, get discarded. Uh, should we wrap response here, actually? Um, Hmm. No, that's okay. It's okay. Okay, so we're going to have Kalu Thor for two. Let's take it off of Midtown Manhattan. Kalu will take consequential damage, get discarded. And we're going to have Spider Woman here, uh, Thor for three. Let's take it off of Midtown Manhattan as well. So this goes down to two threat. And then she will take consequential damage and get this card as well. Okay, so now I think we want to just get Hawkeye back down. And then we want to play our Cosmic Flight so we gain Aerial. And then do some more Thwarting. Uh, okay, let's use Avenger Tower, which will reduce the cost of the next Avenger that we play by one. So Hawkeye is now a two cost card. Uh, do we want to use Maria Hill to pay for him? We could use this as two resources to play Hawkeye. Play the Crisis Intervention. And then, oh, we're going to end up doing the same thing anyways. Okay, so let's use this as two resources to play Hawkeye now. And Hawkeye comes in with his four counters. Okay. And then, huh, I think... I think I will just play Mario anyways. Okay, so Hawkeye is going to Thor for two because we're still all Avengers right now. So we're gonna take two off of here. So bring this down to three. And Hawkeye will take a consequential damage. Okay, next let's use, hmm, I think, even though I did that earlier, we're gonna do this again. So we're going to uh, exhaust this card take a damage, and then generate a wild resource. And this would be a second resource right here. So we can play Maria Hill. So we no longer have the Avengers trait, so each ally is not plus one, plus one Thor and plus one attack anymore. When Maria Hill enters play, we can draw a card. Okay, and then uh, let's use this as a triple resource to play Cosmic Flight. We now gain Aerial. And then uh, whenever we will take any amount of damage, we can discard this to prevent three of it. But we are arrow now uh, for what, whatever that's worth. Maria Hill is going to thwart. Um, actually, no, she's not going to thwart because I want to I discard cards because we have so much draw power right here. Um, 
Let's see, should we just hit him? Okay, Maria Hill is going to swing and hit Venom Goblin for one. That'll bring him down to 11. She'll take a consequential damage. And let's see here. Uh, I'm going to check our discard file to see if we have another energy channel in here. Okay, we do not. That means that the energy channel is coming up. So let's use this energy channel. Discard it. And then uh, let's see. Do two damage to the enemy up to max of 10 for each energy counter here. There's eight counters or four counters. So we're going to do eight damage to Venom Goblin. That'll bring it from 11 down to three. And we're about to get the next energy channel here. Okay, so that will end our turn. Let's ready back up. Okay, and we're gonna draw back up to our hand size here of five. So I think we're gonna deck out one, two, three, four, five. Now we have one more card here. So this is the energy channel, which we can draw with the Avengers Mansion. Okay, so Venom got on the turn. He's going to add one threat to each one of the three schemes. And they're completely controlled now. He's going to attack us. We're going to have Maria Hill block. He's in with a base of six plus a boost card here. Oh, two more. So it's going to be uh, eight damage. That will defeat Maria Hill. Then we'll activate Claim the Throne. It's going to stay on Upper Manhattan. So we have to discard a card from her hand. It's a special there. Uh, let's discard. Oof. If we have Avengers Assemble, can we end the game? Is the question uh, ready each ally we control? Hmm. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Energy channel here is another ten. Okay, we will let's keep Squirrel Girl and this card make the call here. I'm not sure how close we are to ending it. Okay, so we did that. We get a face on counter card, which is Swing and Assault. Uh, in Hero Form, the villain attacks you, give him one additional boost card. Okay, so Venom Goblin is going to attack us. We're going to have Hawkeye block. He gets two boost cards here, and he still has that indirect damage card, okay, which he didn't get. The special here is to move the glider to the main scheme with the most threat. Put one threat on that scheme. So this one has four. We put one on here, so this goes up to five. Okay, and he's hitting Hawkeye for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight damage. Hawkeye is defeated. And then he'll activate his special, which is to put it on the skin of the least threat. It's gonna be this one. We have this card, another card. Next. Okay. Oh, I'm tempted to try to end him here. But if we fail, it's gonna be really bad. Okay, let's just card squirrel girl. All right. And then it is back to our turn. Let's use Avengers Mansion first so we can draw a card. Got the energy channel. We deck out so we get a face down and counter card here. Yeah, so we don't end him here. It's going to be super bad for us. And we deck that so we're going to shuffle up our deck here. Because we're going to get a bunch of encounter cards. Okay, and then let's take a look happens here he has 21 hit points uh okay oh yeah his toughness and 21 hit points so we have to start calculating right now so if captain america swings for three that will flip him over we can use carol danvers to ping off tough and then we can wrap response captain america okay so she'll be exhausted he can swing for three. Avengers assemble. Another three at six. Plus two from her is going to be eight. And then, yeah, it's not enough. I think we're still too short on resources right now. Okay, let's use clarity of purpose um, for the rechannel here. So we don't heal, we don't uh, do anything with that, and we can draw a card. We drew into a genius here, which actually doesn't help. We need more allies right now. Um, hmm. Okay, let's play the energy channel right here. And then this will have uh, no counters, but we're going to use this as three to put in all the counters in here. So it's going to get three counters with that energy right there. Okay. And then I don't think we have any more draw power right now. It's a problem. We can't flip over because he has so much scheme right now. Um, do we hold on to this Avengers ass Assemble? I'm just focused on Thorian right now. Captain America's gonna die. We definitely have to wrap response him. 
uh, okay, let's have, hmm, okay, we're going to have, the just carving is actually hurting us a little bit right now. I think we need to keep the Avengers assemble. I want to, okay, let's use Quinn Care to generate resource and put it in the energy channel, right? Actually, wait, wait, before we do that, why don't we use the Alpha Flight Station? So let's discard a card from our hand. The power of leadership, exhaust this card, and then draw one card. So we get, okay, we got Squirrel Girl. That's actually not bad right now. Um, okay, so we're going to use, uh, could keep the double for, for later turn. Let's use Avengers Tower to reduce Squirrel Girl to one cost. Use a Queen Curry to generate resource to play her. When she enters play, do one damage to each enemy. Then Goblin takes the damage, he's dropping down to two. And then scroll, uh, we're all Avengers, so Scroll Girl has plus two, or two Thor, I mean. So let's get it from Lower Manhattan right now. So Scroll Girl and Captain Marvel will both Thor for a total one, two, three, four. That will bring us down to one. We're okay with threat right now, so we want to change it up to that so we can get a full hand size. That will end our turn. Let's ready back up. And we're about to take a lot of, uh, what's that called? Uh, indirect damage, because that. Same that monstrosity is still in the deck. We're gonna keep these cards in our hand, drawing back up uh, to five here. Okay. Ooh, we got the other energy channel as well. Okay, so it is a uh, Venom Goblin's turn. One threat to each one of the three schemes. Hopefully, we get the same uh, throw as an encounter card. Uh, he's gonna attack us with a base of six Squirrel Girl blocks. Boost card. Uh, resolve the special ability of the scheme with the glider counter. Oh man. Okay, so we saw this card card from our hand, which is gonna prevent us from ending it even more. Let's discard the uh, energy channel here. And then, uh, let's see, so we resolve that. He's hitting for three, that would defeat, or six, that would defeat Squirrel Girl. To activate Claim the Throne, it moves on to this scheme right here. Special is placed one threat on each scheme. So let's see, this goes up to four. This one goes up to three. And this one goes up to five. Okay, then we get HS Encounter card for total two. First one under fire, surge and reveal the top card of the encounter deck. So, okay, we got Symbiotic Monstrosity, and we also got Remote Navigation. Okay, this guy has Retaliate, Steady, Toughness. This will dig out his uh, Advanced Glider, where he'll activate twice against us. Hope it's not an activation. Uh, surge and give the villain a face down boost card. Symbiotic Thrall, he has Patrol if the Symbiotic Environment is in play, and Guard. Okay, so no activation there. He has a boost card here. Okay, we need to draw into the attack card. Um, okay, so it's back to our turn. We lived. This guy has Guard. Okay, let's use Avengers Mansion so we can draw a card. Into a wrapper response. Let's use uh, Rechannel using the Clarity of Purpose so we don't take any damage. And then we draw a card with uh, drawing into White Tiger. Okay, let's use Avengers Mansion to reduce the cost of White Tiger by one. So she's two resource or uh, two resource card, uh, two costs now. This is a double to play her. Draw two cards because he's on stage two. So one, two. Okay, we're not getting that, but Kalu can fish it for us. Um, let's use this as two resources so we can play Kalu. Look at the top five cards of your deck and add an event to your hand. Okay, we got okay, so great. We got the photonic blast. We're gonna get this in our hand here and shuffle up our deck again. And the question is, can we end him? I'm still on that question right here. Um let's see. How much damage do we have now? If we we don't have any more doubles though, is there any problem with that? Um so we don't need the all for one. So let's use the alpha flight station, exhaust this card card from your hand, and then draw a card. We've gone to Hawkeye. It's a good thing he's still an energy resource. Um, let's see. We play the Avengers Assemble. How much does that do for us? It doesn't really do anything because these guys are all going to die anyways. Uh... Let's see, okay, okay, let's just calculate some damage here. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 
And then right here can be 10, so it's gonna be 23. Oof, I think I'm gonna try end them right now. If we do that, we have to ignore all of this stuff. Oh wait, there's guard. Okay, just kidding, we're not gonna end them because there's guard. Okay, so let's use this hero action. Discard this, it's a attack card with three cost. So we can discard the advanced glider here. Okay, we don't have to worry about the interrupt damage because we already got the single monstrosity. We could just take an attack from the minions here. We need to get rid of the guard guy. So let's see. Forget about um we're gonna forget about Avengers Assemble. I don't think that's worth it right now. Uh let's see, do we want how can we kill this guy? So right now everyone has plus one attack and plus one fort. So we're gonna have Kalu actually no, we're gonna have White Tiger swing for uh three. She has three attack. Should take one damage. Kalu is going to let me see. If each of your allies has a venture trait, increase your ally limit by one. Oh, so we don't have the ally limit of four if we play Maria Hill. Okay. Um hmm. Okay, so we're not gonna play Maria Hill then. Uh, let's use the Quinn Care to generate a resource. This would be two more, so we can play Hawkeye. So we can have that Avengers limit there. He has four arrow counters. Um, okay, and then let's see, Kalu's gonna swing for two. That would defeat the Symbiotic Thrall, so no more guard. And he'll take on of damage. And then Hawkeye is going to Thwart. Uh, we're gonna take it off Lower Manhattan still. Oh wait, wait a minute. Is there no advance in here? Okay, so he still has both advances. Um, but I'm okay with him scheming on here. Yeah, this guy doesn't have guard. He's gonna get two boost cards here. Okay, that's fine. So Hawkeye's gonna Thor for two, plus plus one with the Mighty Avengers, and lower Manhattan. Hawkeye will take Consequence of Damage. Okay, so I think, ooh, we still have Captain Marvel here. Uh, so she will, let's Thor for two from uh, Midtown Manhattan. Okay, that's gonna end our turn. Let's ready back up. And I think we should be able to end Venom Goblin next turn here. Okay, we're gonna draw back up to our hand size here of five. We got Spider Woman too, which is gonna be great. Okay. All right, all right, let's see. So Venom Goblin's turn, he's gonna add one to each one of the three schemes. He's going to attack us. He has this boost card. He gets another one. We're gonna have a Kalu block. So this would be the two cards. So put the Enrage into play and get you. It's a boost effect, and we got one, uh, one advance out of here. So he's gonna be doing just one, two, three, four, five, six damage. That would defeat Kalu. Then he'll activate Clam the Throne. This is a scheme of the least threat. Add one to each scheme. Here, here, and this goes up to three. Okay, both these minions hit us for one, two, three, four. We're gonna take it, drop him from 12 down to eight. Then we get one face down encounter card here, which is hopefully his last encounter card. Uh, ex oh man, okay, exhaustion. So we exhaust ourselves and then surge. Swing and assault, the villain attacks you, give him one additional boost card for that activation. Oh crap. Uh, so we know this is in advance actually. Um, so he's going, oh, whenever he enters play, I'm gonna use Hawkeye. So we take off the thing and we can just kill him. Because uh, he does two damage when the minion enters play. Um, okay, so we got the swing assault. Uh, he is attacking us right now. We're gonna have. Uh, man, he gets two boost cards. Okay, let's have White Tiger block. He gets one boost here. He decks out, gets an acceleration to the main scheme there, and then shuffle up the encounter deck. Okay, he gets another boost. Okay, and then White Tiger's blocking. It is uh, just damage, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, nine damage, that'll defeat White Tiger. And then he'll activate Claim the Throne again, place one threat on each scheme. Okay, so we got exhausted. Um, it's back to our turn. Okay, let's just see what we draw first. Let's use Avengers Mansion so we can draw a card. Let's use rechannel and clarity of purpose uh, so we can draw another card. Okay, um, didn't get any damage. Okay, I still want to try to end him. Keeps, I've been saying that for a long time and we're just not able to do it yet. 
Um, okay, so there's no more guard. We can do. Uh, okay, let's use Avengers Tower, exhaust this to reduce the cost of the next Avenger we play by one. So she's now two costs. This would be two resources to play Spider Woman. When she enters play, we confuse a villain. Doesn't matter right now. I think we want to use Alpha Fly Station, exhaust this, discard a card from her hand, and then draw a card. Okay, the Photonic Blast might be the card that helps us do it. So that's going to be 15 with the energy channel. That's going to be 18. He can attack again, so that's going to be 21. He has 21 life. Yeah, so we can go. Okay, so we have the kill shot here. Okay. All right, all right, all right. So let's see. We have to get rid of him first. So we're going to have Hawkeye swing for two with the My Avengers because each uh, character has Avenger traits, so everyone gets plus one attack. So he's swinging for two. Then we're going to have two life. That would defeat him, bringing down a zero. So that'll flip him over to his final stage. He has Star so he loses the confused status here. Okay. He has toughness, and he also has retaliate. So he's going to retaliate and defeat Hawkeye. Hawkeye is defeated. Okay. Next, uh, we're going to have Captain America swing for three. That will ping off the tough. He'll take a retaliate and be defeated here. We're going to activate rap rapid response. After an ally you control is defeated, discard this card. We put the ally uh, from the discard. Oh, back into play and do one damage to him. So we take a damage and he's back into play here. And we got rid of the tough. Okay. Uh, next, Captain America is going to swing for three again. That oh, Venom Gama should have 21 hit points. Let me set that up. Okay. So he's swinging for three. That will bring from 21 down to 18. He will take a retaliate and a consequential damage. So three damage. Spider Woman is going to swing for three. That will bring from 18 down to 15. She will take retaliate consequential damage. She gets defeated here. And then we can use uh, this as two uh, energy resources to put into our energy channel here. So it now has five energy counters. And we will use this as three resources so we can play a Photonic Blast at Venom Goblin. Here we actually do five damage to the enemy. So we're bringing from 15 down to 10. Since we use an energy resource, we can draw a card with this card's effect. It doesn't matter. And then we will use the energy channel here. We can uh, discard this card, do two damage to the enemy, uh, max up to a maximum of 10 for each energy counter. So there's five energy counters. We're going to discard this card, do uh, 10 damage to Venom Goblin. And that will bring it from uh, 10 down to 0. Oh, he retaliates after the uh, Photonic Blast. So we should draw down 7, but we still can do that 10 damage and finish him off. And that is Venom Goblin on Expert Mode.